everyone, I have some great new projects for you this week featuring a new to me product, toweling. So let me show you what we're gonna make. So we've been carrying toweling here at Missouri Star for quite some time. I just haven't ever really played with it. And so it was really fun to check this out and kind of see what the options are. It comes in a variety of widths. There's either the 16 or 18 inch kind of standard width, which is what you see here. And it just comes on the bolt. And the thing that's really cool about this narrower width is the two sides are already pre-hemmed, which is so handy if you're making a runner or placemats or even just tea towels and it just gives you a great option. Of course, you can embellish these as you see fit. And we've put together a pattern that gives you dimensions and instructions for placemats, runner, tea towel, and even a throw using the wider width. So let me show you some of that here. So I've made a set of placemats and they measure, I believe, let me double check, 12, by 18 and it's just so cool how quickly and easily this comes together because you've got these two widths already done and then you just add your hem to finish off the set and so really really great little project to just make some quick placemats for your table or maybe your outside table whatever you're looking for and then of course you can use this same width to make a runner and you could hem it like i did on the placemats or you could also do this great little tassel finish, which I really, really love. And I'm gonna show you how to do that on the wider fabric. So let's go ahead and set this aside for now. So I can show you this 60 inch width, which I think is so cool. So here is the 60 inch toweling. Isn't that awesome? And so I just bought you know, a little over two yards to make this great throw that ends up at 60 by 72. And the one thing I wanna point out is on the wider width, it does not have the hemmed edge. So this edge you can see is unfinished. So if you wanted that hem, you would just have to turn it under a couple of times to get that finished edge. I did not mind this little fray. It's not gonna to continue to fray at all. So I left mine just like that. And then we're gonna go ahead and add these tassels to the end. So let me show you how to do that. This one is all finished. I just think it makes such a cool lightweight throw. So let's set this one aside and we'll bring this in. And I dropped my stiletto, but you're gonna wanna have one of these handy cause it's super helpful. So if you don't have one of these, you could use a large safety pin or straight pin, but something to pick apart this thread is what you're looking for and I found this to be the easiest. So let's see here, we're gonna open up our fabric and it helps if you open it all the way, just because this, the thread goes all the way through this entire thing. And so you're just going to use your stiletto and you're gonna pull out this thread. And I find if you work from the middle and then come back and get the little bit extra on the edge, that tends to be the easiest. It does sometimes tangle a little bit, and so you just use that stiletto to kind of work it out of there. This is a great project to sit and do while you're watching TV, because you don't have to pay super close attention, but it is kind of time consuming. So we're just gonna continue sliding this out of here. There we go. And I wanna point even this out, like I've only frayed about a half an inch, and if you decide that edge is enough, you could just come and do a straight stitch or a tiny zigzag so that the fray will stop. And that's another way you could do that too. So let's go ahead and keep doing this, going the other way. There we go. And so I'm just gonna continue until we get a few inches of this frayed and ready to go, just in the same method, one string at a time. And once you get going, you kind of find a routine and a process that works. 
It's a loose enough weave that it's quite forgiving and you don't have to fight too hard with it. You just kind of pull and then come over here and pull. So I'm just gonna keep at it and I'll meet you back here in a little bit. All right, and through the magic of television, we have finished off all of that fraying. Like I said, it takes a little bit of time, but it's not hard. So just, you know, curl up with a good movie and just sit and pull those strings and you'll have a good little pile that you can toss in the trash. And now let me show you how we finish this off. So I'm gonna use a ruler and we decided to come in every half inch. And since I have some of these done on this end, I'll just keep working this way. And so I just measured up a half inch, took those threads, and then I like to twist them and then tie them. And so the twisting helps make it much easier to tie and then they'll just relax. And so let's go ahead and do that again. So I'm gonna come up a half an inch, just split those strings, make sure I don't have too many you can use the stiletto again here. Just to keep those extras out of the way. And then we're gonna give it a good twist. And then we're just gonna tie a single knot. Slide that up to the top and then let it go. And it is as simple as that. And then we'll do one more here, just so you can see. We're gonna slide that up, looking for a half inch. Come in here, split those strings with a stiletto or a pin, whatever you have. And we're just gonna twist. And then we'll come up and tie super super simple like it is such a simple way to finish this off and i just think it's such a fun detail and i did a smaller tassel on the runner but still so so cute so just play with this it's such a fun product i think it makes such a beautiful throw it's like the perfect lightweight to take on a picnic or to keep in the car um, just to have an extra layer there that you can curl up with. I hope you enjoyed this project and learned something new about toweling like I did, and I'll see you next time on At Home. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching At Home. We're so excited to be almost a million quilters strong here at Missouri Star. And so if you haven't already joined our family, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be notified of all of our future tutorials. And we'll see you soon.